Morning church, I uh, hope you enjoyed our study on Jonah. We're going to switch a little bit, change a couple of the letters around, and now we're going to go into John. Uh, actually, uh, Pastor Bob is doing his series on Revelation right now, so we thought it would be cool to look at another, uh, the epistles of John, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John, uh, pretty much believed to be written by John the Apostle. And so uh, there, there's some discrepancy there, but not really. Most people believe that it's John. And so we're going to jump into that, and I'll show you why most people believe it's John right here at the very beginning. And John's writing to the church in Ephesus again, and, and the church is surrounding that area. And, and they're going through some struggles. There's some people coming in and doing some false teaching and, and kind of trying to draw them away from their first love, which is Christ and, and Christ crucified. So John's going to deal with some of that through this letter through the first one and as well as the second and third one. So we want to jump right in. Um, I just want to jump right in. John chapter 1, 1 John chapter 1, verse 1 says, That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked at, and our hands have touched, this we proclaim concerning the word of life. So right there off the bat, when he says that which is from the beginning, which we have heard, he's talking about being a, an eyewitness. And of all the people to tell you about Christ, John might be the best, because John in his gospel, if you remember, he's the disciple whom Jesus loved. He spent three years walking with Christ. He spent years on the island of Patmos before returning back to Ephesus. And, and this is kind of one of his last um, teachings. And, and really, he kind of leans back into what he th thinks is probably Christ's most important teaching. So we're going to kind of glean on that as we go through this. But it's very similar to his... Um, his uh, gospel where he says in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God. He was with God in the beginning. So looking at that introduction and then this first John introduction where he says that which was from the beginning, he uses that same verbiage and that same uh, that technical language. And so that's one of the reasons. Now, also it's important because he's the eyewitness. Now, verse two, the life appeared we have seen it and testified to it. So he's t giving his testimony here. We, and we proclaim to you the eternal life which was with the Father and has appeared to us. Talking about Jesus. The eternal life which is in Jesus it came from the Father and has appeared to us. We proclaim to you what we have seen and heard so that you also may have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. We write this to make our joy complete. So he kind of wraps up that introduction saying, we want to have fellowship because the fellowship had been interrupted by these false teachers coming in and people pulling the church in different directions. And John is saying, look, we have fellowship with you because we have fellowship with God. And God has done these things from the beginning so that we could have fellowship. We want to draw together. And that's where Paul is going to, I mean, that's, sorry, that's where John's going to begin to pick up as he kind of takes off tomorrow all right, as he takes off in verse uh, 5 tomorrow morning, I'll get into that. Talk to you tomorrow.